Hi, I'm Kelly Francis Corrado, and I am a singer, songwriter, and multi-instrumentalist. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a traditional flamenco chord progression. The supplies that you're going to need are a tuned guitar, acoustic or electric, and a pick. And, special note, the guitar needs to be in standard tuning, which is E, A, D, G, B, and E. This flamenco chord progression is really special to me as it comes from the Romani culture, which is part of my ancestry. So let's get started. So this particular chord progression uses a really unique rhythm, which is a triplet. And the triplet, if you were to clap it, would sound like this. Or slowed down. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now how that translates on the guitar is the first strum is the longer strum. The two strums afterwards are a little bit shorter, meaning the first strum is gonna strum all the strings, and the two after that are probably only gonna go up halfway. But there's a little bit of leeway with that. So, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, for the first chord progression, it is an E7, an E minor, and an A minor. So let's start with the E7. Let's take our first finger and let's go to our first fret and we're gonna count down four strings. One, two, three, four. And then we are gonna take our middle finger and we are going to put that finger on the second fret on the A string. So it sounds something like this. Now, the next chord is an E minor. So. We're gonna take this third finger and we're gonna go to that second fret. We're gonna leave the middle finger down on the A string on that second fret, put this one down here, and then lift the first finger up so it sounds like this. Now the third chord is pretty easy. We're gonna take this finger and we're gonna count down one, two, three, four, five strings, which is the B string. Then we're gonna take these two fingers and we're just gonna move them down one on the second fret. Now we're on the D and the G string. So it'll sound like this. So let's go through each one of those chords again. So we have the E7, the E minor, and the A minor. Now how we incorporate the triplet rhythm, it goes something like this. One, two, three. Then we're on the E minor. One, two, three. When we get to the A minor, we're gonna do the rhythm, the rhythm pattern twice. Let's do that again. E7, one, two, three. E minor, one, two, three. A minor, one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's do it in slow motion again. Okay, let's try the second section. The second section is gonna be the G chord, which is first finger on the second fret on the second string, or your A string. Middle finger on the third fret on the low E string. And then third finger is gonna be on the high E string on the third fret. It is a little bit of a stretch, but let's just try it out. G. Now the next chord is an F chord. Now let's start off 
with the F. Let's take that first finger and go back to the first fret and we're gonna go to the B string. Then we're gonna take the middle finger and we're gonna go to the G string on the second fret. Then we're gonna take the third finger and we're gonna go to the D string on this fret. So now it looks something like this. Now the trick with the F chord, it's a little bit different than the other chords because we're gonna take this first finger and we're gonna push it down so it plays or presses down on the B and the E and sounds something like this. Kind of moody. Now, the next chord is an E chord. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this finger and we're gonna lift it up on the first fret and right here on the G string. Then we're gonna take the middle finger and put it on the second fret and put it on the A string. Then the third finger is gonna go on the D string right below. So it sounds like this. So let's try that again. The G chord, the F chord, and then the E chord. One more time. G, F, Now take your time with this. These are some pretty tricky chords, especially putting them together. So let's try playing it in a sequence. So let's start with the first section and we'll go in slow motion again. E7. E minor. A minor. Now the second section. G. F, again, G, F, Now, these are a lot of chords in a short amount of time. So just take the time and go with it. Move slowly and then a little bit faster as far as tempo goes. So I will play it a few times. I'll play it kind of in slow motion like we've been doing, a medium tempo and then a little bit faster. Thank you so much. I'm Kelly Francis Corrado. Um, I also teach at Youngstown Cultural Arts Center in Seattle, which is a wonderful space. So also check that out. Thank you so much.